Nice, large mouth. You know, there's just something about finding large mouth in open water when they're feeding around weed beds. See if this guy will just sit there for me, just like that. Slide my hand underneath. Actually, I'm gonna lip them. Isn't that a nice large mouth? Look at that. Now that fish hit a lure that a lot of people use for walleye fishing. That's called a rapala tail dancer. And that particular one is a size seven. That means it's seven centimeters long and it's the deep one. It has the longer lip. And that bright color actually has a UV finish. So it doesn't lose its color even in deeper water. He wasn't gonna get off, that's for sure. There's one, there's two. Nice large mouth. Just gonna release him in the water. He's gonna take off. There he goes. Now you know, this lure is very unique because it has this banana bill and it has a very wide side to side wobble. But what I like, besides the wobble that goes from side to side, it also has a rolling action. Now I'm not that coordinated that I can do both, but it does this and it does this at the same time. I call that flash. So when it rolls a little bit like this, it actually flashes its colors to the sides. This provides the erratic action. And I believe the action of a crankman is important because all fish have a lateral line. And that lateral line is actually an organ that picks up vibrations underwater. A lot of times before they spot the lure or the, the prey that they're going for, they actually sense it on their lateral line. So they zero in on it, they get up close to it. If it looks good, they grab it. So the action of a lure is extremely important.